Hi guys, welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel with me, Dane. And me, Sally. And we are back together here in the CD Soho store, which means cookie time. <laughs> and today we are finally going to combine two of my favourite things because Easter is just around the corner. We've got mini eggs and cookies, which means it's mini egg cookie time. And of course, we're going to share that recipe with you guys. So let's head on upstairs and we'll do just that. And as usual, not only are we going to be showing you the recipe for these cookies, we've got a bake at home kit which we created. Yes, and of course this has got everything you need to bake 12 delicious mini egg cookies at home, which is fabulous news for all of you. You can get yourselves one of these from cupcakegemma.com or crumbsanddoilies.co.uk. And if you're one of our Bake Club members over on patreon.com, you can get a 20% discount on this kit. So. I think you should probably come and join us there because we've got loads <laughs> of other cool stuff there too, like loads of behind the scenes action and we've just been like kitting out this brand new studio, haven't we? Yeah, it looks very, very cool. Yes, it's going to be beautiful. So if you want to come and see a little bit of like sneak peeks on what's going on, then head to patreon.com forward slash cupcake Gemma. Anyway. Right, let's get to baking. Yes. So. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> first thing is first is the butter. So we've got 230 grams of really cold cubed butter here. And all of our NYC cookies start with cold butter. It's really important. Cool. So that's going to go straight into the mixer first. So we'll dump that in. And then we're also going to add in our sugars at this stage, right? Yeah. We've got a mixture of soft light brown sugar and caster sugar. This kind of gives it a caramelly flavor. Mm. And the caster sugar dissolves nice and easily in the cookies. We've got 165 grams of soft light brown sugar and 165 grams of caster sugar. And what we're going to do first is turn the mixer on to a low speed. And we're just going to kind of sort of combine the two, but only until they get to this kind of buttery, sugary, nuggety stage. <laughs> now, if you've never seen one of our New York cookie recipes before, I'll just quickly show you what we want this butter to look like. These are our buttery, sugary nuggets, big old chunks of butter in there, and that is how we get those really nice, chunky, tear apart kind of cookies. If you haven't seen any of our cookie recipes, I don't really know what you've been doing with your life, but don't worry, we will put a playlist in the description box below, and also remember to subscribe to the channel too. Yes, it's very easy. The button is right below. Somewhere around here. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we are going to add some mini eggs because these are mini egg cookies. I've got 160 grams here, which I'm carefully chopping because they've very, got a very hard outer shell and you can't just go chop, chop, chop as they'll fly everywhere and you might cut your finger off, so be very careful. I'm doing these one at a time. <laughs> or you could put them in a bag and bash them. Um, it's totally up to you. <laughs> <laughs> there might also be slightly less than 160 grams, sorry. Because someone ate some. <laughs> <laughs> right, so whilst Dane is cutting those up, I'm going to pop in some chocolate chips. So we've got 150 grams of both white chocolate and milk chocolate going right on in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right, do you want to save back a couple? Oh, yeah. So we're going to put some of these on the outside of our cookies once we've boiled them. So we'll just save those back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then these we will carefully chuck in here. There we go. So, what we're going to do now, pop the mixer back on just to the low speed and only for like a few seconds just to distribute the chocolate around the batter. These are going to be mega chocolatey cookies. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we've got our dry ingredients. So we've got 500 grams of plain flour, some baking powder, two teaspoons and one teaspoon of salt going in. And we'll give those a little mix. Why, Sally? Well, we basically don't want to overmix this batter at all. We don't want the butter to kind of cream with the rest of the ingredients. So we just kind of mix all the dry together so that the mixer's not having to do too much work. Correct? Correct. Oh. I passed. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's chuck all of this dry ingredients into the bowl. Again, we're going to go back on to the low speed until we get to a breadcrumb consistency. All right, breadcrumb consistency has been achieved. Do you want me to show you? Here we go. Obviously, you've still got those big chunks of chocolate in there, and there will still be some uh, buttery chunks as well. That is A-OK. -okay. And now we just need to bind all of this together, which we'll do through the power of egg. <laughs> and again, like we mix the flour up first, we're going to whisk the eggs just to break them up. So again, the mix is not going to be kind of overworking the batter. Beautiful. 
So back onto the low speed and we're just going to keep that mixing until it starts to come together to form a dough. So this will take a little bit of time and actually what you want to do is take it off before it kind of clumps together into one big dough. As you can see, it still looks quite crumbly, but all the flour has been hydrated so it's not kind of like dry. If you go to the stage and it still has like lots of dry flour in it, just add a little bit more egg. Um, we did like a cookie masterclass, didn't we? We did. Um, where we go into loads of detail about what you guys are finding hard or things are happening to your cookies. And we've answered all those questions. We'll put a link to the video in the description box below, but for goodness sake... Throw it onto the counter! Throw it on the counter! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Time to don our gloves. <laughs> this is very interesting to watch, isn't it? It is. <laughs> and it is time <laughs> to weigh out our cookie balls. So what size are we doing today? Um, 125 grams, Duh. like always. <laughs> because that's the best size. We're not going too small. We want a nice, chunky, big cookie. Absolutely. So I'm going to weigh, and you're going to demonstrate the clunk, clunk, smush, smush, <laughs> whatever we're calling right. it these days. Yeah. So Ooh. we always weigh because we want them to be perfect, right? Yeah. She says. There we go. Yeah, nice. So what we want to do is just squish it together like this. Oh, I'm going to go squish, squish today. And you just want to go squish, squish. So it's like a round, knobbly ball like this. And you can see those little flecks of mini eggs. But we saved some back earlier on, and we're just gonna press them in the outside like this. Just get a nice variation of colors on there, because when it bakes, they will stick out, and it'll give the outside of your cookie a little bit more color and make it pop. Yay, cool. Well, I will do a bit of squish squish oh, too. Yes. Just to help you out. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> so what Dane's doing after he's popped his mini eggs on is putting them into Tupperware because we gotta freeze these guys. We need to bake these from frozen. That's how you get a crispy outside and a gooey center. It is indeed. So grab yourself a Tupperware or something you can put them in and then cling wrap them. Yes. Here we go. Montage. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. For, I mean, ideally overnight, but if not, like two to three hours, just so that they really firm up so that we bake from frozen. Luckily, Nikki actually very kindly made us some earlier, which have been in the freezer and they're nice and hard and cold. So let's head on over to the oven. That was my moonwalk. Was oh, I liked it. <laughs> Hang on, actually, you're going to have to pull that out. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we've got the baking tray in there, heating up so that we get a nice. Um, crispy bottom to our cookies. Yeah, I'll do that and then <laughs> I'll space old them. long arms over there. You can <laughs> <laughs> put them on, space them out a bit because they are going to spread. Just going to keep going. Yeah, no, that's OK. The Lo more load the them up. merrier. <laughs> Let's just get one more. All right, slide them on in. Our oven is preheated to 180 degrees C, so super duper hot. And we're going to bake those for 16 minutes until they're lightly golden on the outside. smell of mini eggs is in the air. It's excited <laughs> with those colourful eggy shells. No, they're not eggy shells. They're like sugary shells and they're really crispy. They look like this. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. I thought you just ate a bit then. No, sorry. No, Help don't me. Worry. Gosh, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to eat it, so <laughs> let's just break it open. Yeah. Oh, I Ooh, love the cookies so much. Chocolate. It's just the goo as well. Yeah, freshly baked cookies, nothing yes, better. Yes, they're still slightly warm, which is how you should eat them. 
Right, let's eat them. Yeah, okay. I was just like staring at you like, come on, here you go. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Who doesn't love a mini egg? I mean, it really does come through. Yeah. You know what it's like? Well, it's just a bit of chocolate. Like, it's so not. But it's like the taste of the shells. Yeah. The very specific taste. Well, there's nothing like it. Don't go out there. Don't scrimp and scrape and get yourself those fake knockoff mini eggs, people. Get the yellow <laughs> packet ones. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, you'll get in the Bake at Home kit. Two whole bags, may I add. Um, if you want to get your hands on one of these, you've got everything except butter and eggs. You have to get those yourself, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you want to get one, head to cupcakegemma.com or crumbsandbodies.co.uk as yeah. well. And remember, if you are a Bake Club member, then you'll get 20% off. You'll get a discount code over there. I'm not really sure how it works. Nikki will sort it all out for you guys, <laughs> so she's got you. Yeah. <laughs> and if you head over to c &D Soho on the Easter week, then we will have an Easter menu in store mm. full of lots of different egg cupcakes, cream egg cupcakes. We'll have, what else we have? Oh, the ones with the little nests on top with the eggies inside. Yeah, the ones with the little meringue chickies. <laughs> yeah. It's just like the cutest time of year. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, they look super cute. Yes. And um, you can get that all on Easter week. Yay. Yeah. So hopefully we'll see you then. I know it's school holidays, so I hope that loads of you come down and see us. But also remember to keep sharing your photos with us over on Instagram. We want to see your cookies and all your Easter baking. So remember to tag us, hashtag Cupcake Gemma, yeah. um, and follow us at Cupcake Gemma and at Crumbs and Doughties as well. And we've got those other Easter recipes on the channel. There's yes. a playlist. So go and check that out um, for more Easter recipes from us. Cool. Right. Until then. Over and out. Time to eat cookies. Have a great week. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Mm, 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 mm.